publicity in this practice today. This is a Carrollton band. Ladies and gentlemen, the Carrollton High School Trojan Band. This is a Carrollton band. They work so hard. There's such a privilege for all of us to be out here. It just feels good to be in the Captain Mitchell band and just say that we're really good. When you're out on the field, it's your heart's beating. Help me! Help me! their music they need to learn it now instead of out on the field. Indoor we work on the music and we focus more on the music instead of marching. Indoors if there's a certain part in the music that I can't play then that's the time I can look at my music because outside we really need to work on tempo. With that thing right in my thing, that's right in my thing, that's right. <laughs> It's one thing to go see a play or a musical, and you go, and they don't just say the words, they, they actually perform it and make you feel like you're there. We need that showmanship in the show. Well, this year it's very important. We have like tons of solos and runs this year. Most of the bands think that we don't do that because we stay in here and they be outside, but we know more than they do in our music and all that. So. <laughs> So my friend, Mr. Billy Crystal, call him. What? Bang. What? What? I'd like to know that one of every five people in this school is in marching band. It's awesome. It's um, a whole lot of people are playing with us, and they're playing. They're going through the same stuff that we are. Oh, it helps tremendously to know that there's 207 other people that is backing you up. Outside of the circle. Oh, God. Thanks, Kim. My bad. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Learn um, the cactus flag work today. Everybody get a cactus flag. Kim, she, she's real fun. She she gives us you know a lot of energy. And she keeps us she keeps us disciplined and she keeps us doing what we need to do. Kim's an awesome person, and anything she tells us, it's for the good of our team. Kim is always telling us she's not here to blow sunshine up our butt, so. <laughs> it's a big difference from anything I've ever tried before. I've always done like sports and stuff like that, but it's really fun because everyone's really helps me a lot, and that's good. <laughs> Work hard today, guys. Two more rehearsals. We take this show on the road. Here we go. Get your game face on. Forward, march! Yeah, we're doing nice. Um, trying to keep it set up and right in. It's just like warm up, marching faces. Just concentrate. Toes up, walking forward, on your toes, marching backwards. Find good marching for me. helps you keep your um, your playing smooth and you roll your toes it just makes it all smooth your feet right with the drum line listen to their beats focus probably has to be at least 65 percent of everything that we do because if you're not focused on your show then you start your mind starts wondering and you don't hit your sets and you don't you maybe you don't do the horn flashes like you're supposed to, and you're not with the band together. How do you stay focused out here during practice? Well, mostly I just have to watch um, Treneva, because she's the one that does all the hand work, and you watch her, you're with her, you're with the band. Three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, 
We must have positive attitude, so we're always willing to keep on going. We're always willing to go back and do something else that might need to be fixed. I think it's important to have a positive attitude out here because just if we don't, we, we don't work as a team and we can't get anything done. Why must I work as a team? To ach achieve great things, uh, competition gets us better your ratings, just make us feel good out here. There's a, a great deal expected of you. You're expected to be a leader and everything. And it's, I don't know, I'm still trying to soak it all in. Not a sex lead or anything, but just trying to be a good example for the other people on the drum line. Dress in a dress! Just have to keep trying, working hard for the next festival that we have. We are forming a workup circle, circle in order to tune and to get our instruments to where we all sound alike. What was that all about, George? It's just doing. Um, it was our learn flash. Of course, you know, explain to me, why do you do that? Um, because it's a good effect, and it looks good in the show when everybody goes out at the same time. Be sure and to nail these, uh, these horn flashes is really important. It's got a pop in a place, so it looks really snappy, and if you're, if you're just going, just kind of doing it halfway, it doesn't look good. We've been working real hard after school, and every day when we get out here, it's what it's all for. The Carrollton Band is all about commitment, uh, working together as a team to, uh, you know, set a goal to win, to entertain the crowd. We're just here and we're going to, we work hard for what we do. We win, we entertain. And yeah, I agree. She's not here to blow sunshine up our butt. Try to get your foot up just a little bit. Start with the dog. One, two, three, down. Real. What do you think? How much are you worth here? I'm worth um over a million. Over a million too, yeah. Over a million? Yeah. Why so much? Because just all this work and everything. Yeah. <laughs> very important because if we don't warm up then we sometimes we won't remember some of our work. The idea is to go around in a circle and as you're going around in a circle you're spinning and just a wall. It's cute, that's right. It's cute. It's cute. What would it like to know that y'all do improve every time y'all work out there? Well, I think it just encourages us to keep practicing harder and harder because then we'll get better and better every time. So you've got to learn to do your show whether you have hash marks or not. You do it by body position. I usually practice pretty hard. I just Sometimes it's hard to. Okay, tired we're tired and stuff, but we usually try really hard. Marching band within 25 years is going to help me to be more disciplined and to be more able to work with teamwork or whatever. In 25 years, a lot of the band stuff, you have to deal with a lot of responsibility and I think I'll be more capable of being responsible for things. I think band will help me in life, it will help me to, to communicate better with people because right now I have more friends than I usually did. I'm planning on working with marching bands as a career when I grow up and get out of college. So it plays a pretty big part if I'm trying to do that. So just got to keep getting better. I'm Chris and I answered that question is uh, it's helped me to learn to interact with other people and be real nice with other people. Do something crazy for us. We don't have any goats. <laughs> Spirit fingers! Spirit fingers! Oh. I'm the only boy in the pit. And nobody knows, that's why we call him the end. It's true. Nobody. And it's not all that fun with all those girls either. 
Oh, Don't tell me about the girls. They all crazy. They all crazy. They got problems, I'm telling you. I'm tired. Y'all, hey, we Even though I'm not going to London, I think it's very important that all the kids in band do go, and it's, it's going to be a life-changing experience for everybody. I think it's just great that we were invited. There's only 10 bands going from the United States, and I think it's great that we're going to represent Carrollton, and it's going to be really fun. We're going to have a bunch of fun, fun time and everything. So. Practice is a lot harder. It's like you have to get stuff fixed, you know, because this is where you get everything fixed. Some days it's kind of hot. Some days it's just right, and some days it can get all crazy. I'm 29. Sheesh. I'm, I'm 37. What's it like being uh, over 30 and uh, still in marching band? Uh-huh. It's a you little see, difficult it's very on my career at Walmart, but, um, you know, I'm really working at trying to get manager this month, so it may just happen. And considering the fact I'm so buff and I work in construction, you know, I can lift things really easily All with one right. hand. It's hard, but I can do it. And some days it can get all crazy. Mark time. Mark. Mark time. Mark and two. Ready to play. Five, six, seven, nine, two. Ready to play. Mark time. Cut. Five, six, seven, eight. We keep motivated. We think about that we want to win our competition. And that we want to be grand champions. One, two. Um, it's pretty powerful. I mean, we're really known for like being loud, and we just have all those people that help us with our strength when we play. Yeah, we have a pretty big band. I mean, most bands don't have 200 people in them. What makes it so fun? Being with all the people, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just that um, feeling that you've accomplished something on Friday after working hard all week, and um, you know, learning from your mistakes each week can get better. And it's just really fun, and everybody gets really into it. Even practices, everybody works really hard. Yeah. Um, I guess the pride is kind of, it, it shows up on the field after we're done. Okay, here comes the cymbal crash. Everything we play, everything we play has to be 100% intense. If you're waiting for a cymbal part, you need to be down waiting for the cymbal part and play it. Every note matters. If I believe in myself and I can do it and everything, then the people that are around me that think they can't do it will start believing that they can, that they can do it and they can go like the extra mile to strive to make the band better. You have to believe in yourself before you can believe in the band. And it's just setting examples for other band members. If you don't believe in yourself, you won't do good on the performance. And when you believe in yourself, you can help others around you believe. Pride is in your heart, and it's, it's all the belief all in the field that you can do it. And if you think you can do it, then obviously you can do it. One more time, then I'm going to ask you to wait. One more time. One more time. It's really exciting, especially when you hit everything exactly right, because you know just in your heart that you did it perfect. One, two, three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight. Well, we have to keep our toes up and we have to stay in step and everything. Watching is keeping it stuck, keeping on your tempo, keeping it on the beat, staying how everyone else is, keeping intervals. We can't go up there and just pop them in the first place. We've got to hurt it. I've been waiting to see a little intensity in this practice today. This is a Carrollton band. We put on a show. We entertain the people, and we give them something else to watch besides the band members, and we also add to their show. We add entertainment and visual activities to the um, audience's eye. How important is your heart for four years? Um, it's very important. Why? Because that's like where we perfect the show. If we go out there and don't practice good, then chances are that we're not going to perform our best. Our objective at practice is just to work hard and practice our show to perfect it for a competition. You have to work harder. You have to put effort in to it. Don't have effort. 
and then it won't, it won't do it. If I'm up there in the press box, I'd say get behind someone and between someone, not somewhere else. Uh, it's a western thing. It has like songs from the old west and it's pretty cool. It has a lot of acting in it and it moves off there. I'm work this so hard. The helps to the man. We're getting ready for the festival. Okay, man, here we, we go. Have this Ready? too much concentration. Twenty-two. I really think it's a really good band, and I just want to make it better. It's Dane Setic. Um, play the tuba in the band. The most best, awesomest section in the whole band. I'm the section leader. And th this is the worst group of tubas I've ever seen in my life. Though. To be in the tuba section, you have to have some musical talent. <laughs> Always self-defense. If someone kicks you, you have to be able to kick back. Most of these things jump the fence. You need to take a karate class before you join the tuba section. Always wow. watch, watch your over. back. Always watch your back. Because you never know what somebody's going to come up with. Keep your mouthpiece with you at all times. People have peed in it. People have set it on fire. People have peed in it. Yes. yes. <laughs> People have stuffed hamburgers in it. Why did um, anybody pee in it? That's kill. That's only boy that did it right there. Bad cowboy. Was that a gay? Gay, gay, gay bad cowboy. We're getting ready to start it. Where, where is your horn that was supposed to be at? Yeah. It's supposed to be parallel, like this. <laughs> Why is it supposed to be parallel? Because if it's slow, it's hard to play, and if it's hard, it's wrong to play. At band camp, you got to meet a lot of new people, and it was a lot of fun. You learned a lot of new stuff. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but it was still fun. Um, it's just... Hot. It was hot. What was it? Hot. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> hot. You have to have to kind of concentrate and meet new people, and you get into it. And you learn all the everybody's new names and everything, and I don't know. You just get started to a great. Year. It was hard memorizing your music and your sets and everything, but we made it. So. <laughs> It's so important that y'all do your best out here. Because you want to win and look good. We haven't won in like so long and it's really important for all the seniors to win it this year. What would it mean to you to win a, a grand champion? What would that be like? What? It would be the best sports in the world, especially for us and for the band and for the school. It's really intense and hot out here, and we're practicing for our festival Saturday, which we'll be going to. On Thursday nights, it's really exciting because, like, there's parents out in the stands and they like cheer us on and make us feel good. It's overwhelming. It's like we have so many people. <laughs> oh my God. We have a lot of people in here, and it's just it's really cool, like seeing everybody come work together. Some people just act crazy and do the same stuff over and over on purpose. So that's kind of like a soap opera that we have out here. You're the craziest person out here, huh? No, really, I don't think so, but uh, that's what they say. But uh, I just do what I do and do myself. There's a hotline you call. It's 1 800 say band. And see, one guy called me. I, I, he wishes to remain anonymous. His name is Bob. He said, Yeah, I'm having some, some problems. Help me. I mean, Delta Burke is a five seventy lady. I don't understand what. I gotta go. It's not easy at all. We just, years and years of practice. We've been practicing all since uh, before, during July. So we just had a lot of time to um, work on it. It's not, it's just lots and lots of work. But a couple weeks before school even starts starting it. How do you make it look so easy now? I don't know, just coming to all the practices, never showing up late, and trying. Can you find a winner for me? Uh, somebody who really wants, really has the determination to work at what they want to do, at their goals. Band camp is pretty important. You, we wouldn't be able to do most of what we can do right now if we didn't have band camp. It's where you go to learn 
um, if you didn't know before, you learned how to do the 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 drills and the, and the, and and how to play your music. If you didn't know how to play it, do the best run through you've ever done right now. Uh, so if we all just be quiet and do our music right and practice at home, then uh, the festival will go a lot better. The reason that practice is important is because what we do, what we practice is what we're going to do during competitions and festival and what we're going to do on the football field. It just feels good to be in the Kelton High School band and just say that we're really good. Well, it feels really good to know that we've been out there working hard all year long and, you know, we finally get to competition and get a win or a superior or especially grand champion is going to feel great. We have to do this to make sure that we get our um, show right before we go to um, a performance. We want to be grand champions and we just try our hardest to, you know, to be the best that we can be. And we really want it, so I mean, we practice and practice and so many bands in a two-way school are so small and we're so big. And I think it just makes us all want to work harder towards it. I love marching, I love performing, and it means a lot to us. We all take it really seriously. We want to win. We're in it to win. I think that I put um, a lot of heart into my show because I work really hard. I try to. Why is band camp so important to band? Because it helps us in the beginning so we get more stuff. Mm. Okay, band, to the beginning the of be, game, done, please. Done, I think we've got it. Band camp's essential to having a good band. You know, you've got to have have ample time during the summer to learn your music band, and, and learn your spots before you have to start cleaning the show to go to the competition. <laughs> a lot of pride in it because I have my mom was in it, my sister was in it, a lot of my family was, cousins, and so I try to come out here and represent them as best as I can. The main importance well, is to um, your pink, get the show very flag. clean sure and very good for a Saturday so we can keep on with the tradition of winning. Well, uh, the band has made straight superiors in, at the um, festival for 21 years. And, um, the football team's done pretty good here, but the band, we're gonna go to um, festival Saturday, and we're gonna try to do our best there and get superiors and go to finals and win to be grand champions. It's amazing. Sometimes I wonder, like, how we do it sometimes. It, it's an experience that you'll never forget. And when, you know, I've never personally won a grand championship, but I've been with the band, we've, you know, gotten straight superiors, and it's just a great feeling to know, you know, hey, I did that, you know, and you feel like you really contributed, you know, you marched the show. Actually, sometimes it puts a tear in my eye, because, I mean, if I, I see people that I've known for four years, see people that I've known for, you know, a year, not, not too much, though, but um, it, just, it just gives me a great feeling when I see people out there trying, focus, and doing something that they really love to do. What does it take to be a winner out here like y'all are? Concentration, hard work, dedication. It takes a lot of work and everything that, you know, that you can possibly be able to do to make this band better and for us to win a championship. We have to practice for every game and we've been practicing every week to get ready for Saturday. Well, sometimes uh, when I'm on the field, sometimes the band director will like, accuse me as being a band member, you know, out of their spot or something like that, which is kind of funny. I, I turn around sometimes with my drill book in my hand saying, it's just me, it's just me. I was smarting off to my superior. <laughs> superior. You're not going to do that again ever, are you? This is a band, and I'm surrounded by Kim's family. You know why? Because there's too many Kims in the band. So we had to do something about this. Yes, we did, because I was getting confused. Everybody said Kim, and I turned around. Talking Everybody to her. said Kim, and I turned around. They're talking to her. I didn't know what to do. So 
this is all, this is what we had to do. I changed my name. People call me Emma now. Emma. So that's what we had to do. So I'm trying to, to end the popula population of um, Kim's. So we would like to ask parents everywhere, yes. please don't, don't name, name your child Kim. Kim. You know, to see, you don't necessarily see it day to day, but seeing from, you know, band camp two months ago, seeing what they've done since then, it's just, it's amazing. It really is. I mean, they've done a really good job. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. What's it like, like right now after today's today's practice? What's that like? Well, today was really good for a drum line in particular. We learned a lot and worked on a lot of hard stuff today. The open section's really improving a lot, yeah. you know, so y'all yeah. sound really good. The whole band sounds good. We had a good rehearsal today. So. Well, you know, it is neat, and I was kind of dreading it at first because I didn't know what it would be like having your daughter in band, but it's been great. She's a, she's a good band student, and uh, you don't really notice it when you start working with the band and everything. It's just like working with another student, you know, just uh, it's been great having her in band. Yeah. This is kind of a, a neat thing. Your dad, <laughs> Mr. Carter, the band director, what has it been like for you, having your dad as band director? Um, it's been really fun. Sometimes it doesn't even seem like he's my dad because he's so much like a teacher, and he is a really good teacher. Contest Saturday, and the band's going to do really well, I believe. I Everybody so. worked really hard today, and yeah. we got a whole lot done. We just keep everybody's chin up. Yeah, like we're just screaming for you, and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> we're pumped. We're pumped. Yeah. Damn it. Loud. We're pumped. And we're yelling and we're screaming, and we have cheers, and we're in the stands, and. When you do that, that means all the clarinets need to get together. It's it's our little call. It's special. So we do stuff like that, so when our section leader is out there winning the award for our band, then we all do that so she knows we're behind her. It's, it's, it's real fun in the stands and stuff, because we get to play all kinds of songs. We make up cheers and stuff. We get makeup songs and stuff. One of the traditions is before every festival, we make like banners. That has to do with our festival show. We have a lot of fun. We just make it out of sheets and, um, and spray paint and everything. And another tradition is always like standing at attention and like being focused. During the day we basically, well we go over the shows pretty much, but on Thursdays we like, we make sure we get it down packed for Friday or, Saturday, or for Saturday competitions, that's about it. Oh, it's just sort of a, kind of, um, I don't know how to say it, but it's just to pump us up, to, you know, get us focused. You guys seem pumped up. Yeah, we do. These last two days have really helped us a lot. I'm really incre impressed with the individual effort in the show. There's, there's so much to clap for, guys, and uh, I need to get you out of here, like I said, My advice to people to do a good show is, I mean, just go out there and have fun and, you know, just do what you've been practicing, I mean, the whole time, and I mean, and it's, everything's come out right. And the real advice I can do is just do your show, it'll happen. My mind when you're on the field is you feel it, you, um, you have all the music, you hit it right, everything just goes great, everybody around you plays well, and you, when you come off the field, you just feel it deep inside, you, you're pumped up, you got the adrenaline pumping, you just feel like it's the best show ever. An excellent show is when you just perform as best you can, don't make many, many mistakes, and you just have a feeling inside that you've done a great job and the best that you can do. It's, your heart's beating and 
it goes by really fast though because you really don't have time to think about it. You just you're so excited and and like when we're walking on there, my heart's beating really fast and like sometimes I even like start shaking and get really nervous. But then as soon as like she calls Banton Hut and we go one and we just have to concentrate, it kind of just all goes away and. happy to be associated with Carrollton High School for many years and when I see the band I see just a, a long tradition of students who put in great many hours of hard work but it all culminates in a wonderful performance that our entire community is proud to observe. Uh, it's extremely exciting watching the parents and uh, the young kids watching the, uh, the band members outside. Uh, the enthusiasm is superior to any other school you'd ever see. Uh, we have had such a, a tradition of excellence in the band uh, for the last 30 some odd years that uh, it just means a lot. It's, a, it's really a source of pride in the community and we have a, a lot of parents that give of themselves to be here and give time uh, to making the band the very best it can be. So it's, a, it's just an integral part of our school and our school life. Uh, we're very fortunate in the community of Carrollton and they have been supportive of our music band program uh, for four or five decades now. And there's a large participation of students, a very large supporting cast of parents that come along with that. And uh, because of that, we can be very successful. It's wonderful. The Trojan Band is one of the most exciting groups I've ever had the experience to, to be a part of and to watch. They're so entertaining. They work so hard. They're just a, a great group of young people. And Mr. Carter does a wonderful job leading them. Like it's a rush, you know, you, you work so hard to do everything and all of a sudden it just all comes together and it's like bam and it's awesome. I think that we work, all work really hard and all have the same common goal and that, that just kind of drives us more to do the best that we possibly can. We've kept up a tradition of making high scores and we keep up a high standard and people look up to us because um, they know how hard we try and how hard we work. are great and we're known really nationwide and all over the world. Sometimes it's nervous and sometimes it's just real fun. My goal is just to play the best that I can and to help the people who can't play in my section. It just makes you feel good, Carrollton Van, you know, it just makes you feel good. When you're on the energy, it just feels like something comes over you. You don't really know how it happened or, or how, but it just like comes from somewhere, someplace where you never had it before. It just feels great. It's a great feeling. It, it, you can't explain it. You just have to be out there on the field and do it. And just do it. <laughs> Shut up. for you right quick, man. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan, yeah. this right here, what, what must your instruments look good out there? Why are you shining? Well, because we're going to have a festival this week. We've got to polish them up like every time before we perform to make them real shiny so the crowd will like it. What the spirit is there? A lot. We have a lot of fun in band. We do a lot of different activities. Band is a great um, thing to be in and it's fun. What goes through your mind when you're out there? Um, just to try to do my best and to remember my music and my steps and stay in steps and stuff. Yeah. It shows me um, that I can do it and if I put my mind to it, I never quit. A nice time to do your homework. To be, in, to be in this color guard? Pretty proud. We're really good. <laughs> I'm pretty nervous about it. Like, it's a really big deal for me. Like, ever since, since I made here, pretty much, I've always wanted to be a color guard, and I'm just so excited. Just 
just, you put on your uniform and you have to have a lot of pride in the band and that's just, we have great pride in our uniforms. Well, it feels really good once you have it all on because Carrollton, the band, brings a really good name. You know, everyone knows us as being a pretty good band. And so it feels good whenever you have it on and you know, you're looking and you're like, yeah, that's me, I'm in the band. <laughs> Well, I never really thought that I'd be in bands, so like when I'm wearing this uniform, it feels like I'm part of a team, like I'm part of the whole group. Well, the instructors say, you know, you practice how you perform, so it's really important. Um, we always have to perform, and we have to keep our shoulders up and our heads up, and we have to smile all the time. <laughs> Um, like if you go out thinking you're gonna do bad in practice, then when you get on the field, you're pretty much gonna do bad. If you have a positive attitude, you know, and don't let anything else affect you and what you're gonna do, then you're gonna do good and just smile. You have to have the positive attitude, like at, at practice, so you'll practice the positive attitude in your shows. You have to practice smiling because smiling shows a big effect in the judges. You know, like to see smile, so it's all good. Oh, my mind is on the show, and I'm like doing the show through my mind and everything, and making sure that I can do this routine in my sleep. If I... In fact, I've told my children that they, have, they don't have a choice about being in the band because we have so much fun. So um, that's how much the parents love it. Being a parent of the band means a whole lot to me. I have twin daughters in the band, and it's very exciting. It's a thrill goes all over me because I feel like I'm a part of it, my granddaughter's a part of it, and, you know, it's the city of Carrollton that we really are, you know, helping out. This is the grunt part of the job. <laughs> what are you doing? Tell me one. We're putting together a, uh, a western town here. My son's in the band, and, uh, I just feel like I want to be part of it. It means um, bonding together, working together, unity. I mean, it's just the pleasure and the enjoyment of it and the love that they have for one another. I've been involved with it for seven years through two children, and we've just had a terrific band program. I'm a former Trojan myself 21 years ago, so uh, it's a lot of pride um, to see the kids work hard out there. I couldn't do it. There's no way. Oh, very proud. Uh, they're, they're known statewide and uh, have uh, really developed a, a tremendous reputation uh, among all the other schools. And everyone knows Carrollton and Carrollton Band. What do you do it? Well, to help the kids, and it's a whole lot of fun, too. And you get to sweat and sweat and sweat. Hey, uh, yeah, but you know, the end result is wonderful. We are labeling, uh, putting the hangers up for, to hang their cowboy hats on beside their name so they'll know where their hat is. Because oh, so they have how they to change. Oh, that's how you all that's cheat, huh? That's how we cheat. Here it's center on 25 yard line, 32 steps. Those, and it says, Go band. The end result is wonderful. Well, I think the parents are very great to spend their extra time, their extra time to get off of work and come and help us to put together the props and sew the flag that we need on the field to help our show look good. Brass instruments over there, they play it pretty good and they, they're a real power behind the band. Um, I guess you could say there's a whole lot. We have a lot of pride and we always practice real hard. It's very important to have a warm up to get the band ready and set to prepare them to get on the field, um, to get their mind focused, really focused um, on the show and on the crowd. The look in your eyes, we've got some close-up video of you all just looking ahead in the percussion section here, and it's just intensity. Why? Well, you just have to stay focused, you know. You can't be real slack. You've got to be a little strict, and, you know, it's tough, so. You can look in and tax it every time. Well, we just think that while we're playing our drum solo, we need to be as serious as possible to add to the effect of the solo. It's just awesome because you know that everybody comes to see you and everybody wants to see you and everybody loves your band and 
it's just a great feeling to know that you're going to be good. There, there's always been a lot of pride and, and everything in the Trojan Band, and we just we we work real hard. Just it's part of pride and part of doing what we do best. It's performance night. What goes through the mind just minutes before you take the field? Um, just not to screw up. Like, to do your show as well as, you, as you've done it. I stay in step, playing all my notes right as well as I can. And, you know, just uh, do something to get the crowd pumped up. It makes me feel proud when I put on my uniform because I know we're always going to get out there and do our do good jobs. All right. When the uniform goes on, what does it feel like? It feels great. It feels it feels exhilarating, especially when we're out on the field. How about and you know, when, once you put that uniform on, what does it feel like? Oh, uh, I feel so much like Carrollton. Uh, I feel like, like a sense of pride coming to me when I put when I wear this because I'm wearing something for the school.
off when we get a good crowd and we know what we're doing and it just it looks good it's, it's very hard you have to sweat I mean you're not putting your you're all into it if you're not sweating sometimes you know you come off the field you almost want to cry because you know you did a good job and sometimes you come off mad at yourself because you did a terrible job it just depends you know like a lot of freshmen come in here and they they, they expect this is all easy you know and the band's not a tough job it's really tough you get in there and I mean you'll get up there and you'll get that first instrument up you know for the first time and have to hold it at attention and buddy it ain't easy, and uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people running over props, hitting sets, you know, but it's all, it's all for the greater of the show. Dave Retz at Carrollton High School. You know, you make this object right here look so easy to time. How do you do it when you're twirling it? You guys make it look smooth. Uh, it's just according to how long you've been taking and the teacher that you have, like my teacher, Venus Allen. I've been taking from her for six years now, and. The, it's, your instructor shows you, you know, the technique and the smoothness, and that's how, when you put it all together, you can make your routine look really good. What's it like when you drop it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You get that feeling like everybody has their eyes on you, and they all either laugh at you or make fun of you. You don't feel good. Bianca, I guess you all get all dressed up here. I mean, you all looking sharp. Uh, why? Tell us why. Why is that so important? Um, <laughs> it. It's attraction to us, so we will be seen with the band because with all the band members, with the color, without color, we will not be able to be seen. It just adds a lot to the band, you know. You can see it, uh, when we're traveling around, you know, it just kind of adds, it adds effect of like, and we're, when we're moving around, you know, you can watch other than just like people marching. Well, when you're out there, um, putting so much into it, you're gonna sweat a little bit. Uh huh. Yeah, and get tired. Um, we're doing a Western show, so I'm a prairie girl. We have like aprons now. We change out of our corset belts and big prairie skirts, little shoes, <laughs> and our <laughs> leotards. Come out, and then everybody's like, they start clapping. They all get into the music, and they're like, you know, just jumping around, having a good time while we're doing a little kick line and stuff. So. It's kind of interesting. It brings the, yeah, the like, wow to the show. We just get to be more individual than the other bands, and we get to just to have a little more oomph to our show. Like, we have yellow ruffles under these skirts, so that's really fun to just get out there, and it helps you get into the show. Of course, we're all changing clothes, and the band and everything's more intermingled. Like, flags are marching more this year than we ever have. So I think this is a good way to, you know, end my high school band career on top of a mountain. Then again, I'll be like, you know, you got to go on, you got to keep the tradition going and let everybody know that we're number one and we just got to keep that tradition.
you like inside? Guys, thanks. Let's think about Saturday now, okay? We're going to London this year for a, for a parade, and it's going to be a good um, a good thing for it because I've never been over there, and it'll be my first time going out of the United States. It's going to be a life-changing experience for everybody. There's only 10 bands going from the United States, and I think it's great that we're going to represent Carrollton. There's only 10 bands that get chosen, and our band was one of them. And in front of Felix is a very, very big band here. This is the Carrollton High School Marching Trojan Band. They're directed by Robert Carver. They're from Georgia. Traveled extensively in the United States, performing in many, many states throughout that country. There are 170 members marching in this ensemble today, from the color guard in the front here all the way to the last row of the band. One of the largest bands in the parade today. Thank you, Dave, and thank you very much, Carrollton High School. For the Carrollton band and it's it's overwhelming to see all these people up here just cheering for you you just want to perform it so well and perform a good show I think about my first year here my first time on the field and I just let just reminisce through everything I've done over this field. guys for everything that you've done and taught me. Um, I feel sad that I'm going to leave y'all, but I'll be a senior next year, so maybe all the underclassmen will feel the same way about me. Tough to leave the band and all the friends and family you made because we're really close. So I'm a senior this year. It's um, going to be hard leaving all the friends I've made over the past four years. And the Friday night football games were a lot of fun, and it's going to be hard to leave them behind. I'm going to be able to 
to be here and just, I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> Keep going, love is a river I wanna keep going on